question that we get asked a lot is, I didn't have anybody in my family have breast cancer. I couldn't possibly have breast cancer. Yeah. Why did I get this? Is this genetic? Yeah. Is it not? So yeah. what do you answer to those questions? Well, I think that I get asked that all the time, right? Oh, my mom didn't have it or my mom had it, so I'm gonna have it, right? It's It goes both ways and, you know, most people don't realize 90% of breast cancer is not genetically linked. They're so surprised when we say that. Right? Every time. It's like, really? 90%? Yes. They think that I should only get a mammogram if my mom had cancer or mm -hmm. my grandma had cancer. So then the ones that don't have that, they, they're so shocked when they do get yeah. breast cancer. And then the ones that do have family history, they think for sure they're mm -hmm. going to get breast cancer and they're already asking for prophylactic surgery. And you're like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Right? So, you know, I do explain to them, 90% of breast cancer is not related to genetic links. And even if patients do have some family history, they may not even have it. So this is why we have testing. Yep. Right? So when we ask them about family history mm -hmm. and their mom and their sister and their aunts and their grandparents, it's to assess whether or not they're at risk and whether or not they qualify for testing. Mm -hmm. and, and we should do that. Because if they do have a gene mutation, we might want to treat them differently and they have different risks and we have to screen them differently. But most people don't have it, right? Unfortunately, it's very much like prostate cancer for men. It's a bit of an age-related cancer, mm -hmm. right? If you're female, you have breast tissue, you may be at risk. As you get older and as you get healthier, we live longer. More right. and more people are getting to an age mm -hmm. where breast cancer is a risk, right? Do you get patients asking you like, I got diagnosed and all of a sudden all my friends are getting diagnosed too? I do, I do. Right? It's like, is, it, is everybody getting breast cancer? Yeah. Is it increasing? Yeah. yeah. But I'm like, but all of your friends are turning 50 and 60 right. and 70, right. right? It's like everybody's getting married. Is it, it's like you got married and then all of a sudden everyone around you mm -hmm. got, well, it's because everybody's kind of at the age for that same thing, right? It's yeah. marriage, then baby showers, you know, then retirement parties. And then there are some age related cancers that um, are common. But there are those that do have a genetically linked cancer and we want to identify those. Luckily for us, we have a great genetics mm -hmm. team, right? Dr. Gordon and her team, it's so easy to just pull them in. I love having them in my clinic. Absolutely. And it's so easy to get the patients to see them right. and for them to get counseling. Yeah. Usually same day that yeah. I'm seeing the patients. And then in two weeks, they get the results of it. Then we can mm -hmm. make good decisions about how we want to take care of them, right? Is there a different way we have to screen these patients? Is there a different operation we need to do? Are there different medications? I'm sure you use that information to help you decide yeah. some of those medications. So I think we're just lucky to have that easy access because I know there are lots of places that don't have that easy access. Right, right. Right. And sometimes when people say genetics, they're talking about the genetics that they got from their parents. Mm -hmm. Other times they're talking about the genetics of the cancer itself. Right. So it's also important for people to understand the two different types of genetics. Right. Yeah. So genetics from the parents, yeah, 90% of cancers have nothing to do with that. You won't find a gene right. and they won't be there. Another part of it is, you know, what genetics does a cancer have? We do do that sometimes yeah. to try to figure out, does it have a gene mutation that we can personalize right. that patient's treatment? for and right. give them medication. So genetics is a huge part of how we treat breast cancer, but people need to understand it's not as simple as, oh, I got a gene from my parents, I'm gonna get breast cancer. It's not like that. Right, and it's kind of like, when we talk about gene mutations, I kind of mm -hmm. feel like it's like the BRCA, Angelina Jolie phenomenon, right? Yeah. It's like the catastrophe and everybody remembers the catastrophes, but they don't remember kind of the run of the mill things, right? You know, when you hear of somebody who has a gene mutation, that kind of sticks in your mind. And so you think, oh my gosh, that's it. You know, like everybody has that. Yeah. But the reality of it is most are not genetically linked. Mm -hmm. Most don't have that high risk. Most are patients who have these low risk cancers that are not linked to genetics. They don't have a higher risk of cancer. And then like you said, cancer is genetic mutation. It's a change in the genetics mm -hmm. of a cell. So then we have to figure out what those genetics are. Right. Well, we call it the same thing, so it's very easy to confuse the mm -hmm. two, right? And then we can figure out how to treat them yeah. it's based on what the changes are. Right. So. So, yeah, so it's important for patients to understand that, you know, as part of your comprehensive care, genetics should be part of it right and your doctors should understand do you, do you get a gene from your family and also what are the genetics of your cancer right and like i said we're very lucky that we have a very good genetics department here and that should be 
a major cornerstone of any patient's uh, diagnosis and treatment. For sure, we have to have a full you know, history, understand mm -hmm. you know, where they come from and what their risk might be and then test them appropriately.